Jashikins, and welcome to another episode of Jash Reads, the show where I read a book from front to back. In this case, I'm lost, and I am currently reading the entire Animor series, and we are currently on book number 12 in the main series, aka Animorphs number 12, The Reaction by K.A. Applegate. Whee! So I'm glad to be back with you guys. Glad to be, you know, sharing my joy and appreciation of the Animorphs series. Because it is awesome. And I was going to start doing this latest dramatic reading about, let's see, probably a little more than an hour ago. But, and the reason why I didn't uh, get to doing the dramatic reading then, you know, then was because, well, uh, the, we have someone that comes to help with the bird cages once a week. And I had thought that there was that he just wasn't able to come today. So I had everything set up and then it's like, oh yeah, he's coming over and I probably a little bit more because I'm autistic and you know, I like structures. I don't like unplanned things to happen. So I had just like tweet out, hey, you know, I'll start the latest episode in maybe an hour or so. And then, I mean in 10 minutes or so, then I have to make a quick change up and say, actually, no, I'm going to, you know, there's been a little delay. Yeah. And then also with that delay comes with it that it's delaying me from calling my dad, which, you know, I wouldn't put on my high list of priorities, but he's gotten in this mood today where nobody must want to talk to him because he called me about three or four times, maybe in the span of an hour or two. And one time he, you know, sent a text asking me a question. It's like, okay, that was nothing you needed to call for. And the thing with dad is sort of the conversation starters for him is he get, basically he acts like he just called to talk about this one thing. You know, he's not abnormal for doing so. I'm like, oh, I just want to call for this. Then it quickly turns into... Quickly turns into, well, I'm just going to tell you all about my day. Every boring detail no one but me considers important. So, yeah. So then, yeah, so after I do this lovely dramatic reading, I will have to deal with my dad. It's just so great. So freaking great. Right. Sorry, cow. I have to take out my anger somehow. Yeah. Okay, this is a nice little area with a, let's see, how far are you going to load in the background? Okay. Yeah. Hey, llama. Llamas spit in the game, and that is their attack weapon. And if you've ever encountered a llama in real life, that's very honest. Okay, okay, I think I have myself positioned nice and right for this. That cool mountain behind me. 
which I think is good. So, how about it, folks? Let's start reading. And those who watch my nightly Minecraft streams, yeah, I'm prob it's probably going to be a dad night tonight. Okay, let's get started on that reading. Let me also rearrange a few things. So this will be a comfy experience for me because my comfort matters. And I have did the intro thing for like five minutes when I used to like just to cut down to one or two minutes. But I mean, now I have something like Minecraft on. So it, it helps show that, you know, it's a transformative work. But anyways, let's get started. <laughs> I got so into chasing those fish, I'm sorry. Okay, here we are going to read, uh, excuse me there. We are going to read Animorphs number 12, The Reaction, chapter 12. Whee. Okay, okay. Mm. Stretching out here, you can't see. Okay, three, two, one, go! My heart missed about four beats before it started up again. Going a hundred miles an hour. Uh-huh. I said, try not to let the adrenaline rush overwhelm me. Get ready, I told myself. Get ready. We like to think we offer some help to kids who may be going through a bad time. Chapman said, we have an awful lot of fun. Campouts, bonfire barbecues on the beach. Just a month or so back, we had a big water skiing trip up to a mountain lake. I could have said, yes, I know. <laughs> we were there too, but not exactly in human shapes. Instead, I said, Th that sounds like fun. It is fun, Chapman said with total sincerity. And a lot of our members are kids who come from troubled homes, kids with problems, but they're also kids who want to make life better. They're hopeful, optimistic kids. When I saw you handling yourself so well on the news last night, I thought, you know, I should offer Rachel this opportunity. She's just the kind of person who could really benefit from the sharing. How d did I look on TV? I asked. Very self-possessed, very attractive, and very mature. Cool. But... <sighs> he sighed. I have to wonder, at the same time, if maybe you don't have some problems in your life. I mean, the stories all say you fell into the crocodile pit. I held my breath. Here it comes. He suspects. But I don't believe in accidents. I have to wonder if maybe you have some problems that made you shall we say, careless. I barked out a laugh. <laughs> then I stopped myself. He thought I was suicidal. Did he think I'd sawed through the floor of my house too? <laughs> oh, good grief. That's why he was trying to recruit me for the sharing. He thought I was depressed or whatever. A perfect recruit for his little controller organization. Oh, gosh. Something's in my eye. Hang on, folks. I'm going to use an... Uh, hang on.
sorry about that. Uh, if I didn't take care of it now, I'd spend until the end of this video allowing whatever to keep on scraping against my eye. So, uh, on. Oh, sorry. Sorry, folks. Okay. Better now? Better? Yay! Better! Okay. Let's get a back to the main event, shall we? Okay, now we can get to, back to the main event. Okay, actually, let me start that whole paragraph over again. Let's hang on there. Okay. I barked out a laugh. <laughs> then I stopped myself. <laughs> He thought I was suicidal. <laughs> Did he think I'd saw through the floor of my house, too? <laughs> oh, good grief. That's why he was trying to recruit me for the sharing. He thought I was depressed or whatever. A perfect recruit for his little controller organization. <laughs> yeah, right. Where do I sign up, Mr. Chapman? Could there be a special discount on dues for Animorphs? I shook my head. <laughs> no, actually, I'm I'm very happy. Once again, a feeling like pins and needles of worn swarming over me, shifting my feet. The feeling was familiar. Oh no! Oh no! My feet! I looked down, and it took every single ounce of my self-control to keep the look of horror from my face. My feet were swelling. They were growing thick, shaggy brown fur. They were swelling and straining my shoes. The laces were strained tight. I know you say everything is fine, Rachel, but... Snap. He frowned. What was that? Snap. Nothing, I said in a squeaky voice. I heard something pop. My laces had snapped from the pressure. I shook my head. No. Anyway, what I was saying was, Rachel, are you listening? No, I wasn't listening. I was busy trying to see if any other parts of me were turning into grizzly bear. Because, see, that's what it was. I'd seen those feet before. They were bear feet. Um, yes, yes, I am listening very closely. Oh, please. No way, I can't morph here. Not right in Chapman's office. I focused. I concentrated. D more. Chapman just kept droning on, on and on about the sharing. And all the while, my shoes were torn to ribbons. And my legs, from the knees down, grew shaggy with long, rough brown fur. And hard nails grew from... <sighs> And hard nails grew where my toes had been. Anyway, Chapman said, suddenly glancing at his watch, I'm going on and on, and you need to get back to class. What? I asked frantically. Just think about it, Rachel, Chapman said. Now, go straight back to class, no dawdling. I gulped. What could I do? I bent over and quickly stuffed the torn remnants of my shoes into my backpack. Sorry, taking a little sip of Coke there. I'm going to get my voice back so I don't lose it. 
I bent over and quickly stuffed the torn remnants of my shoes into my backpack. My feet were like huge fur boots. In fact, I stood up and headed for the door. I paused with my hand on the knob. I turned back and saw Chapman staring hard at my feet. Oh, uh, you like my new boots? I asked. Chapman smiled. The things you kids will wear. Hee <laughs> Oh, dear Lord, I just looked up at the screen. That is... I... Uh, hello? I, uh, I, I didn't realize on an episode of Jazz Reads we would see what the insides of a... Uh, of a sheep look like on Minecraft, but you know, here we are! Learning new things. Gosh. Okay. I'm gonna need a second to calm down for that because I was reading, I glanced up and then I go. Oh, that Cronenberg has Oof. Okay, let's let's go back into the <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, you like my new boots? I asked. Chapman smiled. The things you kids will wear. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm just a fashion victim. I got out of there fast. By the time I made it to the girls' room, my feet had returned to normal. I walked barefoot to the gym and got my gym shoes. I was shaking more than I had from falling into the crocodiles the day before. After all, a crocodile can only kill you. Chapman is a yerk. And they can do things that make plain old death seem easy. And that's chapter 12. That's of Amor's 12, the reaction. Okay, so now we get into the part of the episode where I discuss the text. So, <laughs> yeah, that. Sorry, still thinking about that sheep. It was really creepy just suddenly looking up to that. But, anyways, about the text itself. Yeah, I like the reference to Animorphs 10, the android. When that was uh, when Chapman was talking about the skiing trip and Rachel was thinking, I could have replied this. And yeah, that was the one where they're trying to see, you know, the truth about Eric King because they knew something sort of strange. And in that book, there's a very kid-friendly moment where Marco gets eaten by, by a bird. Like, he gets that lovely little moment. And, it, and uh, is this for really for kids? It just gets swallowed. He's in morph and suddenly it's like, Oh yeah, he's in the spider morph. This bird comes down and just nom nom. So yeah, that's. So yeah, the animals went there and it created one of those moments where it's like, this is a kids book, right? And one of our hero characters is getting, you know, eaten by a bird. It's like, is he going to die? Is he not? And it's not like he was, you know, in this intense battle. He was just getting, going to do some spine. It's like, droop, kid's book. So yeah, I like the reference to that. And yeah, and Chapman 
Chapman is basically sort of... Yeah, he's a very powerful yerk. Very powerful controller. So, he makes direct contact with Fisher 3, like, on a nightly basis. So, you know, when it's that sort of person goes, yeah, come to my office, it's like, oh no, this can't be good. The person who's, <laughs> who contacts Fisher 3 on a nightly basis to give the Fisher updates, calling me in, and, like, it's also logical to think, because... Yeah, it seems very improbable that it's <laughs> that someone could survive that crocodile pit thing that could also have a house fall in on them. That doesn't seem something like a normal human could ever really encounter. So it's very logical to go, oh my gosh, this is this is it, I'm going to have to, you know, do the fight or flight response, and Rachel's is the fight. It's like, but then finding out that, oh no, it's not because Chapman thought Rachel had morphine abilities, it was just because she, he thought she was suicidal, and it's just like, yeah, the Yerks do that. To recruit members into the sharing, they like to you know, get the suicidal people or people that feel down on their luck. Look at that. Donkeys and horse. Oh my god. Yeah, but then she finds... And, yeah, the recruiting down in their luck humans is a little tactic. Because that's what's so terrifying about the sharing is... It's just, it goes, oh look, at your family, and if you are really depressed... Figuring out what help is, you know, good. You know, what helping hand actually... What hand actually cares for you, and who's only faking it can be extremely hard to tell. Let's see, let's see what else. And I did like, Chapman brought Rachel in thinking, okay, I can get another controller, another, you know, person to get a yerk into their head. And then when it's like, and so he, I decided to do that nice, I felt like it was like car salesman sort of, you know, tone. <laughs> Little car salesman sort of tone. You're like, yay, look it! Isn't this great as he's thinking, okay, I'm going to close this deal. And then it turns out, no, this isn't the customer you're looking for. It's like, yeah. I do imagine when he's going, oh, you kids. He's probably thinking, you humans. Stupid, stupid humans. And he just wants, suddenly, once he realizes he can't, it's not, he's likely not going to make Rachel into a controller that day. He's like, what's the point of anything? Oh gosh, 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 fly up, fly up, fly up. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like, oh great, I have to deal with a human again. Why won't this human go away? Oh, I got a... I got an achievement, folks! Ahoy, I found a little... little sea wreckage. So, uh... Probably not going to explore that tonight, day. But anyways, let me make it to the island. Oh, and when I was reading the end of the chapter, 
all the time I was practicing that, I couldn't get the tone I wanted. And I just couldn't figure it out. I was like, I'm saying this, and this seems like logically it would make sense. But like something's just wrong, something's missing. And I couldn't figure out why. But when I read the end of the chapter just now, I was like, oh, that's what I was going for. So I was actually, this is one of the few times where I was better in the final recording. So that was good. Okay, now we're going to get the, actually, before we get to the links, let me take a little sip of Coke. Okay, actually, let me set it up here. Okay, let me make it a little better set up, let's see. I do this very professionally. Okay, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Okay, so for today's question, uh, relating to the chapter, let's do a nice little fun one. Okay, here it is. Do you like boots? And if you do, what are your favorite you know, kinds? Myself, I love any and all boots. I hate shoe shopping, but if you then tempt me with a, well, how about we try on these shoes, these boots afterwards? I'll be like, okay, do whatever. I want to try on those boots. Uh, I love boots. Don't really wear them anymore though. But yeah, I love them boots. Woo! Boots! Sorry. <laughs> so, anyways, about those linky links. First, all these links, if you're watching on the YouTube, are down below. And if you're watching this on Twitch, I will be adding the links sometime after I finish up with this stream, okay? Woo! So anyway, on with the links. If, if you watch this video and you're like, hey, Animorphs is really cool and I would love my very own copy of Animorphs number 12, The Reaction by K.A. Applegate. Well, I would highly suggest you read it you buy it, you read it, and my link is an Amazon Associates link, so besides you getting an awesome fucking book and also helping to, you know, support the actual people that made the series possible, yeah, can also help me out too. Also, You know, come see me over on Twitter. I would love talking all day, all night about Animorphs or horror movies. You know, just, I would love to talk Animorphs to you. But please remember, the no spoilers thing is only for this Jash Reed series. And so if you don't want me to give you spoilers beyond a certain point in this series, Animorphs series... You're going to have to tell me. No, because I don't want to accidentally spoil something huge since this video series, I hope, will introduce or reintroduce adults to the amazing series, the best in the world, Animorphs. It is my favorite series. I am not exaggerating. Oh my fucking god, I am not. And if you would like to help support my Jash Reed series and everything I do, including a nightly Minecraft stream, writing a book, doing reviews, doing a bunch of things. I finally got the Kandahar review out. For some reason, that was like, things were just 
aligned so I wouldn't get those done. So, oh, at least I can put that behind me now. Yes, I have mentioned it numerous times on my nightly Minecraft stream. Why do you ask? And finally, I am working on on original series and on not Netflix. <laughs> what am I saying? Why would I want to do that? Could cancel after a season. <laughs> Anyways, no, I am releasing an original series on Amazon. The series is called Kafka's Men. It's a grim, dark superhero reverse harem series. And it's very fun to work on, though. <laughs> Never mind what's gotten in the way of not completing the sixth book in the series. But no. I am currently working on the sixth book in the series, and I can't wait to get back to writing it because. It, I'm having a lot more fun with this one part than I thought. I was like, wow, this is awesome. I mean, I had a, a sort of guess that it would be a little fun to write, but you know, it's much more fun. And so I can't wait till I'm done with it and I release it for all of you to see. So anyways, that's it. I'm. Still hoping to get one of these Josh Reed's episodes out per week, you know. So, please, you know, let's see, yeah. Sub yeah, subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Twitch. This, you know, keep up with the Animorphs series. The Animorphs is awesome. And I encourage you to read them on your own. If this video interests you, go out and read the series. And also on both Twitch and YouTube, I have different streams for games out, so I just don't do this reading. And the big game I'm currently getting through is Disco Elysium. And yeah, I'm going to probably be playing through that so much. So. That'll be it for today, this week's video. Thank you, everyone. I wish only the best for you. Woo! Actually, with the sun up, why not? Before we go, let's let's check out that shipwreck. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this. There's a shipwreck. <laughs> Ooh, let's see, shipwreck, shipwreck. Yep, that's over there. Okay, okay, we're doing this. I just want to do this now because I know I won't be getting back to this world for. No, that's not the ship. Ah, did I lose it? It's somewhere over here. Come on, come on. I got an achievement for it. I definitely I want to see if it has any good loot. Okay, I think it's... I remember just swimming around here and like... Is that? Oh my gosh, it is. Okay, I'm just going to make this nice and quick. It's okay, guys. I think my birds are honestly giving me directions to this sunken ship. Okay, come on, come on. I just don't want to wait a week for this. Because I might honestly totally forget that was a thing. OK. 
Okay, let's see. I want to find this thing. Okay. okay. We're finding this ship. We're finding the ship. It was there. Okay, I... Do I see it? No, that's not it there. It's not here. Come on! Where are you, ship? Am I just... Why could I find it accidentally like that? Get an achievement and everything. And now when I'm like, okay, let's check this out now. I couldn't before because no video thing. Now it's raining. Okay. Let's do this. Let's get on the land, see if we can't see anything. And if we can't... Ah, yeah, I don't want to waste your time. Waste your time, waste your time. do ba doo ba doo ba doo on come on maybe something will be clear if I'm underwater since that's how I really first saw it okay I know it's sort of really blended in with yeah, you know, blended in with the sand and everything. Oh fudge, fudge, fudge. I was not looking. Okay. Probably where magma is. Okay, come on. Okay. Never mind. So the hunt for the ship. Okay, I'm just going to try one more time, guys. One more time. One more time, and I swear I will close this off for the week. Because I think I figured it out. I don't. Okay. Here. Okay, I'm sorry folks, I thought we were going to find the shipwreck today. Refind the thing that I found really easily. I was like, okay, I guess I'll look for this later. I hate, gosh, I, wait, is there something down there? There's nothing down there. Oh yeah, there's something down there. A lack of air. Gosh. Sorry folks, sorry. Thought I was going to finish that up there. Thought I was like, oh, I'll just swim. It'll be like a moment or two. But, uh, yeah. Guess it was not just a moment or two. Are you sure I can't see it? I'm going to feel so lost and- ah! Okay, hang on, let me find back where I was. Did not expect that drop. So, uh... Yeah, sorry, that was, uh... 
Sorry about that promise of a wreck ship not being explored. So, I hope you had a good time. Woo! And also, uh, I will be here next week, hopefully earlier. Yay! And you stay safe, stay sane in this chaotic world. And yay! <laughs> So, hope you all have a good day and you didn't mind me lingering on the end there. And until next week, goodbye.